Hello and welcome to my keto kitchen. I'm Victoria. Today we're going to make keto sugar cookies with keto royal icing. In the thumbnail you see how gorgeous and amazing these beautiful keto sugar cookies are. Let's waste no time and just get started. We need one and a half cups of my perfected keto flour. And this flour at one and a half cups is 158 grams. Next, we need one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. We need half of a cup of allulose, one egg, and one stick of room temperature butter. I left this butter out overnight, so it is very soft, but not melted at all. Now we are going to mix this up until it turns into a beautiful dough and I'll give you a close up of that. Perfect. The next step is to take some plastic wrap, lay it on your counter, get the dough, roll it into a nice ball, and I have to give you a close up of this beautiful dough. So all we need to do is put this in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. And then it will be ready to shape however we want to shape it. Now, let's work on Keto Royal Icing. This is the icing recipe for this cookie. I did not make this this beautiful. This was a friend of mine. And as you can tell, she's very artistic. I am not. So. I have this cookie to show you what the icing looks like, what you can do with the icing, and how to make the icing. The first thing that we need is half of a cup of water. Next, we need two and a half tablespoons of egg white protein powder. The same one we use in the flour mixture. We also need half of a tablespoon of liquid allulose. We need half of a teaspoon of vanilla. I recommend clear vanilla if you have it. I do not. Now, we are going to beat this until it begins to look frothy. And scrape down the sides as you need to. As you can see, it is nice and frothy at this point. Okay, it is nice and frothy. So take the beater attachment off and put on a bread dough attachment. If you have the little plastic piece on the end, this really helps to scrape it off the sides of the bowl. So I have that attached. This is one and three quarters cup of allulose. It's 384 grams. As you guys probably know by now, I pretty much weigh everything. So this is one and three quarters cup of allulose. I'm going to pour this in here all at once and I'm going to leave my mixer on for four to six minutes. I'll let you know exactly how long it takes. I'll set a timer. But we want to turn this into a beautiful royal icing and I'll show you once it reaches that stage. is it. Look how beautiful. There is such a shine to this. This is fabulous. I wish I was as artistic as my friend. She's incredibly talented. But when it comes to decorating cookies, I am not. But now you know how to make a gorgeous keto royal icing that will have a shiny look about it. I'm going to get it all off of the beater attachment. Now, this right here is a wet rag, okay? You want a wet rag 
to cover this. As you're finishing making your cookies, you do not want to let this set without a wet rag rang out on top to prevent it from drying out. I'm going to set this aside and then we are going to get our cookie dough and we are going to shape some beautiful keto sugar cookies. Okay, I have my sugar cookie cookie dough. I also have my silicone mat and I've topped it with my perfected keto flour to help the sugar cookie dough not stick to the mat. Okay, so we have the dough. I'm going to put the plastic wrap on top of it as I begin to press it down, get it flat so that we can make our shapes. I have some fun shapes right here. Look at this. This is like a cute little reindeer's face. Let's do that one first. The bell stocking. And this is the one used for the thumbnail pictures. Christmas tree, snowman, snowflake, and a gingerbread man. I have this. It really helps me get these things off of the silicone mat and onto my baking tray. If at any point this dough gets a little bit too soft, put it back in the fridge. Now, let's do it again. You know what, I think this is getting too soft. I am going to have to put this back in the refrigerator. When it wants to stick to your little pieces, you probably need to put it back in the fridge for another 10 to 15 minutes. I might even put this in the freezer. Okay, just got this out of the freezer again. Gonna lay it down, flatten it out again. Okay, we have done it. This is a full tray of beautifully shaped sugar cookies. These are going into the oven for eight minutes at 375 degrees. And I will be right back to show you what they look like and tell you how they taste. This is what the sugar cookies look like when they come out of the oven. They are gorgeous. This took nine minutes. So between eight and 10 minutes is probably what you're looking for. Okay, our sugar cookies are completely cool. I've let them set out. This is a gorgeous sugar cookie. Keto, it's delicious. We're going to put some royal icing on top. Now, I am not my friend. I do not have the craftsmanship nor the ability to paint how she painted on this beautiful one. However, I've given you the same recipe. So if you are talented like that, you are blessed. I'm not blessed in that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some royal icing on top, taste it. I am so excited. Actually, I know what these taste like. This is not the first time I've made them. I took them to a party. When I asked, what do you think? They were like, these are great sugar cookies. Nobody said they're keto, I can tell. Nobody, so. I did a terrible job. Look at this, look at this. This is not the same. This is not the same. This is why you have somebody make something beautiful when you cannot. I just, I don't, how do you do this? How am, I just don't get it. I don't get it. How am I supposed to paint this on? How am I supposed to get it as smooth as she got it? I just, I can't do it. Will you forgive me for my not being beautiful? I'm just being honest. I, I, I don't have the ability to make this beautiful. But let's see if it tastes wonderful. <laughs> it's just making me laugh oh my goodness fantastic hands down the best there is in my opinion it's just the best there is 
It's beautiful. The glaze is gorgeous. It gets this, you know, just like regular sugar, sugar cookie, that glaze gets a little hardening on the top. This glaze will get the hardening on the top. It's glossy. This is gorgeous. I can't make it gorgeous, but you can make it gorgeous. Mm. So good. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make these with your kids, with your grandkids, with someone you love. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Friday, and you have a blessed day and a Merry Christmas.